if you need to learn how to talk to a lady. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick and easy tutorial. It's going to be a rope braid ponytail look that is completely inspired by April Sunny. I was on her page and I saw that she did a tutorial on this look and I really wanted to try it out because it looked so cool. You guys know I love a sleek ponytail look, but this kind of mixes it up a little bit so i'm very excited to try it out and to help me achieve that style i'm going to be using my better length extensions and also this video is sponsored by them so a really big thank you to better length for sponsoring today's video so here are my extensions and this is the light yaki 20 inches in number one and i love their extensions because they have a little bit of texture to them and I think it matches with um, relaxed hair very very well so that's why I'm a really huge fan of their extensions because they definitely blend with our natural like black hair very very well so I highly recommend so if you were to order your clip-ins um, you're gonna get yours in this pouch which I definitely think you should store your extensions in also because it really helps to keep the hair nice and silky at all times so that's very important so each pack of extensions come with one four clip weft two three clips and this is what that looks like and then you're gonna get four two clip wefts some are shorter like this length and then some are a little bit longer and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. So you're going to get two of this one as well. And that is pretty much enough for my hair because my hair is pretty thin and fine. So I don't need a lot of hair. But if you like a fuller look, I would say install two packs. So for this ponytail look, I'm going to basically clip all of the hair in. And then I'm going to start styling my hair. So let's just get started with that. So for the ponytail look, it's going to be a side part and I'm going to use you guys as my mirror for a second. So it's just going to be a deep side part. So I'm just going to section off my hair. That looks good to me. So now I'm going to start clipping in the hair. If you guys would like an in-depth tutorial on how I clip the hair in, I have several videos up showing that and i will link them down link them for you down below in case you're interested okay guys so moving on i'm going to be taking my olive oil smooth and hold pudding this is what it looks like and i'm going to use this to slick down my edges and i'm just going to put this all like under here and i zoomed you guys in a little bit just so you guys can kind of see up close and this is what I use to replace gel, kind of, especially because I have a fresh relaxer. My hair doesn't really require a lot right now to slick down. So that's why I like to use the smooth and hold pudding for this reason. Because, you know, it can hold down my hair and it won't get stiff or anything or build up. This is what I'm going to be using to slick down my hair. I'm just going to be... Looking this down now for this part i like when my hair is on my face a little bit especially for a sleek bun because i have a lot of forehead you know this can help to hide some of that put some on the kitchen as well because I know it's dry back here I know for a fact okay all right guys now I'm just putting it into a ponytail I'm gonna be using this hair tie right here to secure it Ooh, the hair feels so silky and smooth it's crazy all right, that's it for the ponytail. I'm not gonna pull it too tight. All right guys, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the ponytail, but you guys can see how smooth the hair is. Literally looks like my actual hair. Nothing is showing through. It's actually like the perfect extensions, I think. So yeah, this is it for the ponytail portion. All right guys, onto the rope effect. I realized after I filmed that this clip was so dark so you could barely see what I'm doing but I'm going to explain it to you anyways so I split the ponytail in half and I'm putting a elastic band 
right in the center and I would say use a elastic band if you have one I just didn't have one so I had to use a scrunchie then we're gonna split that section into two like what I'm doing here and then you're gonna flip it within itself um, twice so just do that So once you're done, you're gonna take that like loop that you just made and you're gonna wrap it onto the other side out of your ponytail and just loop it in a couple times, twisting it each time you do so. And it's gonna create this kind of rope effect. You can't really see it because it's so dark, but I filmed it again later that night because I really wanted you guys to see the effect because then what's the point? So you're just gonna flip it in within itself. I'm just gonna loop it across. You can still see some short pieces there, but I have a bob cut, so. It was kind of hard to hide those pieces, but. All right, guys, now I'm gonna take my Duval straightener and I'm just going to straighten the ends of the hair, only because they don't look good just like that. So I'm just going to curl it. And a lot of you guys also asked me if I'm able to, if you're able to put heat on your better length extensions. It's gonna curl, it's gonna straighten, should you feel the need to do it. But I would say just keep it to a minimum. You don't wanna over overdo it you don't want to overdo it and put too much heat on it so just you know keep it to a minimum like a style like this like a really quick bop 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 that's fine but just don't put too much because you don't want it to start getting stiff and like all of that stuff and it's not human hair you guys i think it's like a fiber so yeah just don't overdo it Okay, you guys, so this is the finished product of the ponytail. Let me know how you think I did. Let me turn around now. So as you may have already guessed, my style didn't turn out how I wanted to that first time. So I filmed it again to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. But I tried my best. I think I can do better. But if you want to see a full tutorial on this look, check out April's page. She did a really good job. But yeah, this is how mine turned out. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. My code will be on the screen if you'd like to purchase a set of extensions for yourselves. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Code will be on the screen again. And click the link in my description box and it'll just take you directly to the site. So thank you guys so much for watching and a big thanks to Better Length again for sponsoring today's video. And until next time, bye.